Move now to Dearborn, where hundreds gathered tonight in a very spirited evening to discuss banning books in schools. At issue, six books some say are inappropriate for school aged children. Those books are Push, Lovely Bones, Eleanor and Park, Red, White, and Royal Blue, This Book is Gay, and All Boys Aren't Blue. They're currently under review. Tonight's meeting at Stout Middle School, wrapping up just moments ago. Pamela Osborne is there live, and uh, Pamela, things got very heated at times. They did, but between security that was hired and Dearborn police, there were about 12 different police officers, security people here, so things didn't get too out of hand, although there were quite a few disruptions. The board, by the way, they don't have any say in this review process, but still they listen to hours and hours of comment from people concerned about removing those books from the shelves and people who want to see them stay. It's very antagonistic. We met Lisa Goddard, a mother of five former and current Dearborn Public School students outside of Stout Middle School after what she saw Monday. She wanted nothing to do with Thursday's continuation of that meeting, which ended abruptly when things started to unravel. The people who really lose in this scenario aren't the adults who are all yelling at each other. It is the kids. This teen who identifies as queer and transgender shouted to be heard as adults booed. Had I been aware of the books and resources available to students in the libraries. I have no doubt I would have had an easier time accepting myself and relating. Please to allow the, the speaker to speak. Those against the books that focus on LGBTQ issues and experiences say it was about the explicit nature. I'm a 43 year old man and I'm embarrassed to say this stuff. And yet you say it's okay for this to be in the hands of my children. Shame on you. I'm not against the gay. I'm not against anything. I'm against the books. Others don't see it that way at all. So let's stop pretending this is about protecting children from books. We all know this is about erasing our LGBTQ students and staff. It was literally written on signs people brought to the meeting on Monday. Others argue parents concerned about the books should opt their child out. Parents should absolutely have an active role in their child's reading and education. But no parent should be able to tell another parent what their child is allowed or not to read. Those who believe the books belong say other parents should have no say over what their children read. And I, for one, won't give up my rights as a father to anyone whose parenting skills are so fragile their teenagers can be undone by ink on a page. The Teachers Union, the American Federation of Teachers, went on the record saying it supports staff members, students, teachers, LGBTQ community members um, over political divisiveness. Now, I do want to mention here, they say that they think the board has done a good job with creating options for parents who have concerns about these books, which, by the way, in the future, after this, any books that are uh, under review, they're going to remain on shelves right now. The books that are under review have been pulled. Reporting live in Dearborn, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Very passionate on both sides. Pamela, we appreciate it.